also, you know, when we last talked to you about a dangerous method, Vigo wasn't the first choice. Vigo came in at the end after actors had pulled out. You've worked in scenes before where an actress pulled out. Is this the cast that you set out to have, or is, did you make well, changes? Well, it, it, it's, you know, it's always a moving target until you're actually making the movie, so it's not unusual, you know, that you have people in and then you lose them or the, the deal can't be made, or in the case of Marianne Cotillard, who was going to be in... Cosmopolis, she, she got pregnant. She had been trying to get pregnant. She warned us, you know, I might be pregnant. Oh, okay. And she was. And then Colin Farrell was also interested in being in the movie, and I was talking to him, and he got pregnant. No, that's a lie. I'm lying about that. If anybody could get pregnant, it's him. But you know, he got pregnant with Total Recall, i.e. a big budget movie where he'd get paid lots of money. So that was his pregnancy. So I thought, okay, both of those people are, in fact, older than the characters in the book. Right. And this is actually you know, a gift, because now I should really go back to the book and say, this character should be mid-twenties, really. Colin was going to be Eric? Is that, yes, that's that was right. The and he's, you know, he's in his thirties. So it, it's not a big jump, but it, it would have been possible. But well, it's more accurate now. For a director then to say, okay, Colin Farrell was the guy, but hey, I've got Robert Pattinson. I mean, that's a completely different reality. And you probably, yes. you've worked with big actors before, but the conversation around this guy is pretty unique to today. There's not a lot of cats like him right now who get this kind of buzz. Uh, yeah, it's correct because uh, he's famous, but he's cheap, and he's a <laughs> and he cheap he's, as in he won't he won't pick up a tab or cheap as he's inexpensive to buy. Cheap as in, he's inexpensive <laughs> and he was available. Well, okay, so in fact, you know, he he's come off a huge series. He's done five Twilight movies. And he's looking to do something interesting because actually he's a very intelligent, interesting actor who's done some interesting stuff before Twilight. Mm -hmm. And he was looking to, to do that again. And, uh, and so in that sense, yes, gee, because he, you know it's not a big budget Hollywood movie. You don't expect the same kind of money. So when you have to direct a guy like that who's really, open, like, he's his own brand now and you need to get him to be something else. What was that experience like for you? I don't worry about the brand, honestly. Um, because he's an actor, you know, he's a real actor. Well, there's a scene in this film where he gets a prostate exam in the limo. Yeah. And um, it's pretty, I mean, it's a lot of face acting. Thank God for the editing on that one. But We shot the other stuff and it's available for a price. <laughs> I, but is it, wasn't it supposed to be a far more graphic shot? And, he, and did he come up to you and say, listen, I can't put... No, no, I mean, I mean, we joked, I joked, I said, you know, it's doing a prostate exam in a limo, it's cramped, what angle, you know, what angle do I use? I mean, it's, there's dialogue, but then there's also the exam. So I joked a bit, I, I, I like to terrify him a little bit.